All right, what's up guys? So today we have the 2020 Harley-Davidson Iron 1200. Uh, this is a pre-owned motorcycle for you today. Uh, it's got about 1,500 miles on it. Gorgeous look on it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and crank this thing up for you. So, you know, if you remember Sportsters, you'll probably remember putting the little key down in there. But this one's actually keyless, so it's got the fob like a lot of the other ones. Um, so all you gotta do is hit the button right there. I'll pull the clutch in for good measure. And hit that starter button. And she's good to go. So this one is pretty stock through and through. Uh, pretty much the only thing that's been done to it is these bars have been rotated forward a little bit. And then you've got this uh, nice cozy passenger pillion with a nice little sissy bar on it. A little backrest. Um, does have mid controls, little scraper pegs on it. So ready to go. Side mounted plate. Stock exhaust. So it's ready to go to throw on whatever exhaust you want. Get this thing sounded as rowdy as you like. But it's a really good color. Uh, it's almost like a navy purple-ish in the right light um, but it stands out it's got a good look it's got the blacked out motor all on it um, it's an iron so it's gonna be a little bit thinner there uh, i think it's like a less than a three gallon tank so not a super long range but it's gonna be able to give you a nice little bit there um, but nice that keeps it nice and light for you so those are the fork boots uh, it's all blacked out it's cool let's go ride it so Let's see, so Sportster stuff, you've got your little gauge right here, uh, bar mounted, so right there, easy look down, you can see it. Uh, we can go through our controls on it, so you've got your miles, your A, your B, your clock, your gear slash your RPM, awesome. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we don't gear RPM, just kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, you've got this little cowl here, um, that way it kind of hopefully kind of get a little bit of the wind off your shoulders, kind of make it a little bit easier to ride. Um, yeah, let's, uh, we've got a motorcycle to go send. So, let's go send it. May not get shredded it. Oh, red sport glide, respect. That's all I got the other day. Yeah, um, pretty good, pretty good. We are rolling. It's like school just dropped off the folks. So here we are. Let me uh, tighten this camera here. Um, the video, or the bike we just recorded before this was the Sportster S. Um, and so now we're, since we're at the Sportster S, it feels just feels like we gotta go ride a, uh, can't really call this an OG Sportster. It's pretty OG. It's OG compared to the uh, Red Max 40s. Yeah, so if you're uh, used to riding Harley Davidson's, then you'll probably like this one a little bit better. Here and reach for the cruise control. So this one does kind of have cruise control, but it's not on the left side, it's on the right side. You got the little thumb lock screw right there. So that little uh, set screw you can use with your thumb. Uh, this is just a good this riding position. I just like a lot better. Um, I like having the arms, good shoulder height, um, and I like sitting upright. It might not be the most sporty position, but it feels good. It feels good. Also, Iron 1200s uh, are pretty good motorcycles. They're pretty hard to beat. They're classy. Oh, look at the look at this uh, scooter go. He got down. Brother's ready to run. Oh, appreciate the nod, sir. Yeah, uh, they're Sportster. Um, you know, a lot of people, this is one of their first motorcycles. Uh, the Iron 883s are going to act very similar uh, as far as an appearance and handling, that sort of thing. Uh, but the 1200s, they uh, sat up a little bit taller. A little bit bigger motor. They're going to rip a little bit harder. Uh, they're, they're good bikes. Um, but also the 883s, they're made to kind of like lean down a little bit more on, whereas these bikes, they uh, don't lean down quite as far. Um, they're uh, out, out the gate. Bye. 
bikes. I love a sports here. If my soft tail wasn't such a good bike, I'd probably run a sporty. out the other day. I'll tell that story uh, when we get to a little bit wider range here. Now um, yeah, we're running fourth gear, 70 miles an hour. It actually handled the highway really well. I'm just, wow, I, I haven't taken a sporty like this on the highway in a bit, but it's doing really good. Um, yeah, the fifth gear, like that's, they only have five gears. Um, but uh, it's pretty, it's handling 70 pretty good. You can use a little bit more passive power. Um, probably because I'd have to drop it fourth. Give it that, yeah. That's... She can handle it. She can handle the highway, no problem. Um, but if you want to handle this bike yeah, and you're a little bit shorter, you can just roll it, rotate these bars back a little bit. Um, one of the only downsides to the, uh, my little gauge right down here is that a lot of people have an issue with, uh, they want to do taller bars, they want to do T-bars or something like that. It's a little bit hard to bring those risers up with, uh, it's a little bit harder to bring these risers up because then that will affect the uh, angle of that screen right there and then puts it in a not ideal position. Because this right here, this is perfect. Um, you see it good and it's ready to rock and roll. So, um, yeah, so what else we got? So, oh, yeah, so uh, I was got wiped out on the highway the other day. Uh, so we were riding back um, from, uh, gosh, where were we? somewhere out east uh, and we were heading back towards Raleigh and there was a uh, so we were there was an exit ramp and so the exit ramp was one of those where it's not really a exit but it's more of a this highway goes this way so this highway kind of went to the right and then looped around to the left and this uh, electric start cut off vehicle behind me keeps freaking me out um, but it kind of turned to the left and so we were on the inside lane, uh, we were leaning there in the turn, making that left turn there. And there was, we were going fast or anything like that, and we were right there with traffic, kind of going just a little bit quicker than traffic. Um, and there was a truck and trailer on the right side, but it was like old, uh, it was like a pickup truck, and they had some firewood on the back. And so, you know, that's, that was red flag number one. And so we were like, oh man, like, better, uh, be careful watch out here and you know the, the firewood looked pretty secure I'll say um, but there still wasn't a tailgate there so you know you still want to be either way you want to be cautious but now we've kind of uh, bumped up our uh, threat level so since there's no tailgate you know something could fall out pretty easy um, and as I'm in the turn looking I see this like two by six and just slide to the back of the truck and I'm like, oh no, it's coming. And so, it adds a pretty good length to it as well. And that's pretty good length to it. And so it slides out off the back of the trailer and cuts cuts off my entire lane almost. About half my lane. By the way, more. It cut off a lot of room in front of me so all my exit uh, paths were pretty blocked there. I'd have to either, I thought about trying to bury it deep to turn around it, but at, as fast as it was coming out and coming across the lane, um, then all that would have happened was I would have buried it deep, reduced the amount of traction I had on the tire to the ground, and then probably still would have hit it, but now I've got less traction, so it probably would have been a probably would increase my chances of sliding out. So instead, we went straight back to MSF, uh, how to cross a block of wood on the road, 
and so we sh so I shifted my weight on the bike stood the bike up jumped over it and then buried myself back into the turn and it was uh, it was fantastic I'm pretty proud of myself for it um, but we didn't slide out we never lost never really lost traction um, turned out pretty well uh, then the wood kind of like exploded behind me uh, courtesy of my speed merchant skid guard or skid plate uh, courtesy of that guy I uh, ooh, a little bit of lean there courtesy of my speed merchant skid plate the, uh, the wood got kicked up in front of the bike kicked up from the front tire hit that and blew it up uh, the splinters went everywhere behind me looked cool uh, and I eradicated the problem so it wouldn't affect any of the riders behind me. So, got pretty well. Um, so, long story short, uh, you gotta stay uh, stay vigilant out there. Watch for cars, watch for trailers. Um, that's about the only way you can ride safe. Uh, it's just, you know, they say ride invisible, but you gotta take a bit further than that. You gotta, you gotta be smart. Be quick. So, look at this fall foliage. Isn't this gorgeous? I might have to go take a stroll through here after work or something crazy. Uh, this is Lake Johnson, little area. It's gorgeous. It gets prettier and prettier. Um, the only time, the only thing that's really prettier than the fall out here is the uh, spring when it's all dead and then it all kind of comes back to life and you see everything light coming back up. Gorgeous. Speaking of coming to life, we got a sportster right here that we're taking in the turns. She's sporty. She's ready to run. Um, this GMC Envoy is not, though. So it does have, doesn't have quite as good a lean as I'd hoped. Um, but uh, it's still pretty good. The mid controls are good. Put some taller suspension in the rear, maybe. Um, but it's good. It's a sporty. It's ready to run. Um, I kind of love how narrow and small these bikes are because they're so light you can just kind of not going to make him think I'm telling him to hurry up. Uh, but you can do so much with these bikes. And most people, they're, uh, their first Harley Davidson. Did we just beat the bus? Oh no, we just beat that bus. I was about to say, there's no way we timed it that good today. We did not. We did not. We almost got stuck here at a yellow light last time. Uh, all right. Yeah, pretty good power to it. You know, it's nothing like crazy. Uh, it probably feels a little bit slow to me right now because I just rode the sports to rest. And that bike is fast. Holy cow. Um, that bike is quick. Um, but it's a, uh, this bike's good. It's a sportster. It's light. It runs. You can lean pretty far on it. Uh, you can fit very well into some things. And, wow, that was actually impressive. Is that a bicycle or a motorcycle? Bicycle. Hey, look at that. Look at how well this tracks. It's maybe one of the best tracking bikes I've ever seen. Um, now we do our awkward. Okay, thank goodness. Let's see, he's turning, so we're gonna stay. Ah. I'm gonna look really cool when I speed it up and then cut in front of these guys. They're gonna love that. They're gonna love me for it. Um, yeah, Sportsters, I love them. They're so much fun, so much stuff you can do with them. You can also do some pretty cool sporty chops. Uh, in the chopper community, Sportsters are uh, pretty hot because you can do so much with them. Uh, they're cheap, pretty cheap to get. Um, but they're coming to an end, so to speak. Well, the uh, this chapter of the Sportsters is coming to an end. Uh, after, a lot of years, was it 1957? Uh, the Evo motor is, will be no more. Well, it'll be no more in the factory. Uh, but the last one's rolling off the assembly line this year. So that, that means you better uh, snag you one of these things before they're gone. Um, Cause they're gonna be hot. You know, you're still gonna have a ton of these bikes on the used market still. Um, but uh, you're gonna have to snatch one up. Cause people are gonna, people are gonna want these bikes. You know, people are uh... sure.
brother coming in hot. Yeah, dude. Gotta be vigilant. See, that guy did not look like he was about to stop. So you gotta be ready for it. Yeah, here we are. Running sporty up the hill. Mid controls are nice because you can get a lot of. This is so pretty. Uh, it's just a good, solid motorcycle all the way around. I mean. If you're new to riding, old to riding, everybody loves a Sportster. Don't anybody give you any uh, talk about them. You know, you'll, everyone's, someone's going to say that what's a girl's bike? Well, all right. Well, it rips. I bet a lot of girls do have fun on these bikes. A lot of guys do too. I'm having a blast on this bike. Fantastic. Um, so. I'd probably bring the bars back just a teeny bit for myself. I can lean back a little bit more. This is a pretty good position. It does have the uh, does have the tail spike. Love the look. As much as I enjoy having not having one on my bike, it's uh, very nice to have somewhere to put my helmet without it falling off, without worrying about it falling off. That's the biggest reason I do it. You strap luggage to it. Backrests are elite. You need one. If you don't have one on your bike, you should probably put one on it. Um, strap stuff to it. Uh, strap stuff to it. Passengers are probably going to want it. Uh, if you've been a passenger on a motorcycle without a backrest, uh, then you know uh, you're going to want one. You're going to want a backrest. Who is this? I don't know who that is. Oh, oh, that's the. I actually have no idea who it was. I was hoping I'd remember. I do not recognize that bike. There is an old 2000s uh, sports surf that seen around before uh, it's got that like blob blob of red vivid black color oh it's got the peanut tank too oh that thing is gorgeous so here we are rolling through uh throttle by cable that's fun let's do the throttle walk um we have to do the throttle walk instead of a uh, the other thing this is like it's very easy to come across um as in you can see find a lot of sports out there but more so like you can kind of shift your riding position over pretty well um, let's see, yeah she, she's eating it up uh, this one has ABS too that's pretty sick uh, I don't think a lot of sports series had that um, this one's got it this one has it so that's pretty cool. Appreciate that. Ride a little bit safer out there, maybe. Yeah, nice scenic view out of here. We casually rolling through here nice and smooth this bike is solid I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying it quite a lot if in case you uh, haven't been able to tell out here do, 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 and perfect all right what else is there to talk about on these bikes uh you kind of got the air cleaner it's there circle nice bobber style uh, I got the fork boots. I think those are cool. They protect it pretty well. Um, she looks upset. There's a lot of hand motions. Sorry, bud. Um, I don't know what he did. My brother messed up. Uh, I do like this tank tank graphic. Um, sort of that uh, um, newer, kind of modern spin on the AMF stuff. Right up here. Nah, 
not that soon. I think that's a dude. My apologies then. Um, either way, then that dude's upset. Uh, let's see, can we pull this off? Yeah, I don't. If the, the AT&T truck has the acceleration uh, for us not to be able to get over, then respect. Uh, then you need to not buy this motorcycle, you need to go buy that uh, Dodge Ram back there. Um, yeah, I like it. I do like the mid-controls, they, they feel sporty. I can kind of come up a little bit if I need to. I'm about to take a bump that I know is going to break my back. I can just kind of come up a little bit with force there. Maybe I'll break my knee instead. Um, the seat's cozy, it's not too bad, pretty simple, pretty basic. Um, who goes straight here? Well, I definitely should have stopped a lot sooner. Okay, thank goodness. I've never seen anyone go straight here, let alone in this. Now that I come out this way a lot, ooh, we're gonna beat that bus. And bumble bumble bumble. I like it. It's a solid motorcycle. Pretty sturdy. She's sturdy. These bikes are so like narrow. Let's see, can I scrape my knee here? Can we do that? Oh no, nope. cannot do that. I'll leave some uh, metal on this bike for you. <laughs> I promise. Oof. Uh, it's not leaning as well as I had hoped. It still leans good. It's just uh, that sports dress I just rode kind of spoiled me, I think. Uh, we're going to pull on for this G. Do we like this or the 48 more? That's tough. That is tough. Um, that is a tough call. How sturdy are these mids is another question. Can we give it the old... Okay, that's not bad. That's not a terrible position. Ugh. Don't try this at home. You know, sometimes that's a really good move. I'm not recommending the move, but... Uh, that's something I'll do every now and then, just to kind of uh, just uh, move my legs around a little bit, just stretch out some, especially in a long ride. Let's see, brakes good. I like it. Good power to the front and rear. Blacked out all around. Need some different turn signals. Go ahead and black those out too. Um, maybe a blacked out gas cap. It is a halogen headlight, so I would go ahead and slap an LED in that too while we're at it. While we're getting crazy. Um, I'd replace that whole unit. I'm not sure. I'm not sure with that cowl there. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, just small things here and there. Other than that, I mean, it's it's a motorcycle. It's solid. Good to go. I've said solid a lot of times about this bike. Um, just because it's it's a motorcycle. It's basic. It doesn't have a fuel gauge. <clears throat> so you. Excuse me. It doesn't have a fuel gauge, so that is one drawback to this bike. Um, but uh, the 1200s, good, good power. Uh, pretty quick still. Uh, it handles itself pretty well all on the highway, I'd say. Um, then if you want something a little bit quicker, but don't want to get rid of this bike, tune it. There's some good performance mods for these things. I am going to slow down for this because I've scraped a lot already on this video. And I scraped a wide lot pretty good here. There we go. And we'll go the back way into the dealership again. That wasn't too bad. Yep, 
And whoop. that's a complete stop. Alrighty. Don't really love stopping just on the other side of a turn where people are looking left. You know what I'm saying? I was looking left trying to beat the traffic and then they stop. Or then they don't stop. And they just give you a nice little nudge there. So oh we gotta circle back around because this bike doesn't go back here, it goes back there. Um, so I'll show you what the dealership looks like. Uh, I see that sports arrest just went on the test ride. That bike might sell before uh, this video is done. Um, there's a sport glide. I dig them. Go circle around the parking lot here right quick. These motorcycles are pretty solid. Um, I love sportsters. They are so much fun. So sporty. I do a lot with them. I do love sport glides too though. I'm going to have to circle back around here and see what's going on. In the meantime, let's go throw this thing on back here. Throw on that turn signal. Simple buttons. You got like three buttons there. Pardon me, sir. And we'll throw it back. I'm going to be a pain and park this right in the way. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, so, I uh, hope you like the Sportster. Uh, be sure to come check it out here at Tobacco Road Harley-Davidson. Um, and in the meantime, ride safe. Hope to see you soon.